Hello and good afternoon CSI 158 section 841 and 847 students for the second eight week term for the spring 2014 semester at Anne Arundel Community College and this is the Cisco Networking Academy routing and switching essentials course. So today's packet tracer tutorial and solution set will be packet tracer 4.1.4.5 and this is a continuation of sorts from Packet Tracer Activity 4.1.3.5. So let's go ahead and jump right in. We have our addressing table here. We're going to configure devices and verify connectivity, and then we're going to gather some information with the show commands. So for our purposes, we'll walk through and configure the devices, and I'm going to leave the gathering of information to you, the students. All right, so configure devices and verify connectivity. Step one, we're going to apply basic configurations to router A. So let's go ahead and pull router A up here. And we'll move this to the side. We'll pull the CLI up. And so it says we're going to go ahead and go from user exec into privilege exec and then into global config where we're going to configure the host name and we're going to call it RTA. And then we'll configure a message of the day banner. We'll use our dollar sign as a delimiting character. And then I'll put this is my banner. And then we'll end it with a dollar sign. All right, so the line password passwords set to Cisco, and so that's going to be for all lines. So we'll first do the VTY lines, 0 through 15. So we'll use password Cisco and login, and then we'll also do line con 0, and we'll do password Cisco and login. All right, and so then encrypted password set to class. So for this, we're going to exit out one level, and we're going to do enable and secret. Oops. Oh, I apologize. Enable, password, and then if we do the question mark, you can see you can do a type 7 password, but that's not the kind of password that we want, so we want an enable secret password. We're going to put an encrypted one in there, we'll call it, or we'll say that it's class, because that's what we're being asked to configure and so that's been set and it says IP address uh, uh, IP addressing and descriptions on LAN interfaces so for router A interface gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 we'll bring that interface up we're gonna go ahead and type in IP address 10.10.10.1 with a class C subnet mask applied to that class A address and that interface is up and now we'll put a quick description on here and we'll just put in here um, let's see, that would be the switch one interface, so switch one LAN. And then we'll switch interfaces. We'll go to gigabit ethernet 0 slash 1. We'll go ahead and bring that interface up with a no shut. We're going to apply the IP address, and the interface here is IP'd with 10.10.20.1.255.255.255.0. All right, and the quick description will be switch to LAN. Okay. So we've configured router A, we've configured both of the interfaces on there, and we're going to save that configuration now. So write mem. So we've just saved off that configuration. Okay, and that was part one of the activity. So step two is to configure addressing on PC1 and PC2. So we'll close that down. So let's bring up PC1. We'll go to the desktop and the IP address configuration. PC1 is 10.10.10.10, again with a slash 24 subnet mask and our default gateway is the interface that we configured on the router which is 10.10.10.1 all right so we'll close down PC1 we'll open up PC number two we'll go to the desktop and the IP address here is going to be 10.10.20.10 and our subnet mask again slash 24 class C subnet mask and our default gateway is the gig01 interface that we configured on the RTA router. So we've configured PC2. 
And now it says configure switch one for remote management. So let's go ahead and take a look at switch one here. I'm going to scroll up just to skosh. All right. So here's switch one. Whoops. So the password is Cisco. Type in the enable password and it should be class and it is. All right. So if we do a show run right now, we can see that VLAN one is not configured. And so we're going to go ahead and go into global config mode in the interface config mode, specifically VLAN one. We're going to bring the interface up and we're going to go ahead and we're going to assign it an IP address. So IP address for VLAN one on switch one is going to be 10.10.10.2. And again, slash 24 subnet mask. And I'll even put a quick description on here. Switch one LAN management interface. All right, and so that's it for switch number one. So the addressing table is in here, and so what we want to do is there's one last thing we want to do because remember again, for control plane traffic, which is traffic that we're generating on the switch, not the traffic that's transiting the switch, we want to make sure that we can manage the switch remotely. So we're going to add in that IP default gateway command, and again, switch one is on the 10.10.10.0 slash 24 network or subnet and we know that the default gateway interface is the 10.10.10.1 and as you can see we're at a completion of 55 out of 60 so when we enter this command which should be the last step and it looks like maybe we've got one more step and we'll do a write mem okay and there we go and now we're at 60 out of 60 so let me go ahead and check my results make sure all of our assessment items are complete and they are let me go ahead and close that window down and one thing we needed to do was test connectivity between PC1 and PC2 so let me go ahead and let's ping PC1 from PC2 and so again the first ping will probably fail and then we should have success and we do and there it is right now let me see if I can ping that PC or the switch one. And we provided switch one with an IP address of 10.10.10.2. And so can we get to switch one? And it does not look like we're going to be able to get to switch one. And there we go. All right. So that worked out fantastically. So now let me go try from this side. So we'll check PC one. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to ping 10.10.20.10. So can we ping PC2? We can. And let's see if we can ping 20.2, which is switch 2. So again, we've got the ARPing that's taking place. And so the first couple should fail, but we should be able to hit it. And switch 2 is already configured, and there we go. And so that works. And now let's go ahead one last try here from switch 1. Let's make sure that we can actually ping across the network and that our default gateway command is working and we know that it is already because we've tested from PC2 but just to check and so there you go and then let's try to ping switch to and it works superbly alright so this has been packet tracer activity 4.1.3.5 for the routing and switching essentials in Cisco networking academy course and I will see all of you this week have a great evening